Hello, hello, back again. One thing I never talked about it, people hear definitely the Guarnieri sound, which is a little bit the rougher Tina Turner sound, while the beautiful um, Stradivari sound is like a, is let's say the Whitney Houston, okay? What I just wanted to show you, I have now many pieces. Usually when I'm choosing wood, I'm not like on a table, you know, serious violin makers are always straight with the tie and on the desk. I'm going down on the floor and when I choose wood, I'm just there because I cannot handle everything. So come down here. And I just wanted to show you what I have here. Hello, hello, and for my cello friends, I don't forget you. We talked about the viola and we know that all this is the, the, the differences for the viola with the length and then you have the Camilo Camilli and everything. But for the cello, it is again something because when you looked now at the violin uh, video about the differences in shape and the, this tiny difference which makes such a huge difference, on a cello we have a, a little bit some few different um, not options, how do you say that? Um, not ingredients, characteristics, let's say. On a cello, we have more or less the same thing. And I always have the impression that when we talk about Stradivari and Montagnana, oh, it's just a, a, such a big difference. And I cannot open my, lar my legs like this for a Montagnana. It's so huge. And we're talking about how much we're talking about here. Hold on, I just want to see it. This is the Ruggeri. And what's this here? This here is the Montagnana original size. Okay. This here is the Guarneri, Andrea Guarneri. And this here is the Stradivari, which is actually a little bit shorter when, than what it is. So it's one centimeter, maybe a little bit more on the Stradivari gore booth to compare to the Montagnana. So now let me just say this, but I know for, for the ones who uh, Montagnana is too large, it's far too large. That's fine. Now, another more important detail is when you put them like this, all models of a cello and then you immediately see that this one for instance is a different has not the corner so it becomes higher and there is some other the strat model for instance has the corner here and has not the corner here so it is shorter here so it's actually we cannot compare it but what is interesting that this one should be actually shorter and Andrea Guarnieri, second half of the 17th century, 16 something, is as long and maybe even longer in size than the Stradivari gore booth, which Stradivari is very classic for cello making and they took it as a measurement to be um, the standard. Stradivari is already shorter. And then comes Montagnana and Ruggeri. This one here I took from a book. It's a very nice one. It's very large, very similar like the measurements of the, of the Montagnana. Yeah. Are both much smaller. Now nowadays Ruggeri and Montagnana are more appreciated for its sound. And this, this sound which is appreciated is on one side because of the larger shape, which isn't that, it's not two or three centimeters, okay? It fits in every normal traditional cello case if you respect the original length. But the key point is that this shorter body actually increase the sound on the lower um, registers. So, what I just want to point out that Stradivari has been the godfather in violin making for all of us when it came to beautiful sound, 
super great craftsmanship is the best maker. Guenieri, too much has been talked about and he was always drunk and everything and was beating people and everything and was in jail and I don't know what horror stories are uh, around. I have my doubts a little bit. Over the years I think things turned out to be fancier than it actually was. But actually the Guinieri sound more and more is more appreciated nowadays. So we still love a great sound, a great Stradivari and Stradivari will be always the icon in violin making. And in cello making Stradivari Super nice craftsmanship, super nice instrument. I certainly will not say that a Stradivari cello doesn't sound well. It's actually a, a, a certain type of sound. I just make right now a nice uh, cello for Peter uh, Stradivari gore booth because between the lines when he was talking about it, I understood what kind of cello he sound he's looking for. So I just thought. I got it, you need a Stradivari gore booth and he will love it how it sounds. Um, but on the other side, this shorter body over the years turned out to be more appealing to more people. Okay, so shorter, and we're talking about one and a half centimeters shorter, the original. Um, uh, Montagnana, 74.4 centimeters um, body length, and then we have cellos with 76 something, you know, Re really long, and you see them often that they make them shorter than later on. Um, nowadays, not anymore. Uh, so, this is just when it comes to these differences, but still, between a Ruggeri, I even have one here made, very beautiful one made by. Min here, Mina Mazzolari, um, compared to a Montagnana, yeah, there is a little bit of difference and a very lower area, it's maybe eight millimeters, something like this, but it's, it isn't that much. And it, sound wise, there is a big interest, a difference. Go on my uh, web shop and you can see a few instruments which are available and then you can listen uh, when they are played by some musicians. Okay. That's all. Hope it wasn't too boring for you and it was something new for you to think about this, about these differences in model and what it actually, the impact on the sound, the, the choice of the model is a huge impact of your sound. Yeah? So go to someone who understands what you're looking for and he will know what kind of model you, you need. Okay? Have fun. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.